Hello, welcome to my channel. This is a video about the machine learning. In this video, we will talk about data visualization. Okay, let's open our project folder with Visual Studio Code. Create a new file named ml006 data visualization.py. Performing data visualization can help us understand the data better. Okay, let's import our data set from sklearn.datasets import low iris also import pandas as pd import numpy as mp we also need a matplot library therefore import matplotlib.pyplot as plt seaborn is a data visualization tool based on matplot library then import seaborn as sns Let's open a new terminal, then install matplotlib and seaborn. Use the pip. Now install seaborn. You may wonder why SNS is used as a show name of seaborn. The show name SNS stands for Samuel Norman Seaborn, a TV show character on the TV series The West Wind. Seaborn also provides an iris dataset. Although we are not going to use this dataset, but let's just take a look. And here we see the familiar names sepal and petal, length and width, and the data type is a data frame. Here's the image of the sepal and petal of the iris flower. Okay, let's comment out the data set from Seaborn below the iris data set from sklearn. Therefore, dt equal to low iris parentheses. The feature matrix x equal to dt dot data, and it is a MD array. So we will demo how to convert MD array into a data frame so that they can be easily fit into the CBON functions. Luckily, we can convert MD array to data frame by using the pandas pd dot data frame function and provide it a column names in an MD array. For our case, it's dt dot feature names. Let's print it out and take a look. Okay, so far so good. Our next step is to add a dependent variable, the response vector, to our data frame. The dependent variable y is in dt dot target, so we can write y equal to pd dot data frame parentheses dt dot target. Then add a new column. Let's call it species. So x species equal to y. Now print out the x and take a look. Now pay attention to this new species column and its value is in numeric. So let's map this numeric value into their corresponding species names. We will create a dictionary and call it species map. And we will use an enumerate function to convert dt.target name. Then feed it into the dict function to make it a dictionary. So let's print them out, the target name and the species map as a comparison. So now let's modify the y value along its row dimension. For each row, we will convert the value using the dot map function, and the map pin is based on the species map. And put the y into the x species columns, and print it out. Now our data set is in a data frame and ready for Seaborn to use. An easy way to visualize the data is to do a pairwise comparison of the variables. 
and CBOM provide us a few functions to visualize the data easily. So let's enter g equal to sns dot pair plot parentheses x then plt dot show. Remember that CBOM is based on the matplot library. Therefore, we need the plt dot show to draw the chart. 16 charts in one diagram. If we observe carefully, we can find that these pairs of charts are displayed symmetrically in mirror image to each other. OK, this is the sns.pair plot. And we can add a third dimension to the chart. To add a third dimension, simply use the hue parameter. Let's type hue equal to species. Let's also specify the height equal to 2. Rerun the program. And we got a much nicer looking pair plot chart. Let's play with the parameter a little bit. Set the palette equal to set 1. And change the diagonal kind equal to hist, which means histogram. Rerun the program, then take a look. I think this is awesome, pretty cool. Now let's change the diagonal kind to KDE. KDE stands for Kernel Density Estimation. Rerun the program and take a look. Very nice. OK. Pair plot is very simple and easy to use. Now let's try another option to draw the chart. The second option is use the sns.pairGrid function to draw the chart. Actually, the pairGrid function only draw the grid of the chart. So we need to use the dubmat function to specify what kind of chart we want. Now let's specify the chart we want is a scatter plot. Rerun the program and take a look. Now add some parameter to change the chart setting. Now let's try the other option. <laughs> Before we try that, let me show you that pair grid only draw the grid of the chart only. So this is what pair grid would do for us. We can draw chart on the diagonal only. So we can use map diag and sns dot hist plot to draw draw chart on the diagonal only. And the hist plot will draw histogram. Now use map of diag to draw chart on the off-diagonal places. Now let's use map upper and map lower to draw chart on upper diagonal with the scatter plot and draw KDE plot on the lower diagonal. Now draw KDE plot on the diagonal.
and now draw the regression REG plot on the low diagonal. Okay, that was data visualization with Seabone. Seabone can draw the other chart type. Please refer to Seabone's website and documentation. If you like this video, please thumb up and subscribe. Thank you.